Howdy friends, uh, starting my first review on Did I Buy That? I'm reviewing the Streamlit Alien Sun Star Projector. I got this off of Amazon a few days ago. I actually tested it out last night, so it's already open. You might even see it sitting over here on the side there. But uh, I wanted to kind of show you the box. Seen this thing on Amazon, it looked pretty interesting. It's just like those other uh, galaxy projectors that stream out and show you the nebulas and whatever different colors. Uh, it's got the green, uh, like all of them has those green laser lights that give you the stars the fade in and out. Uh, this one looked kind of cool. It was a little alien, all silver. He's got eyes that light up. Uh, looked pretty interesting. Figured I'd try them out. Um, Let's see on the box. The packaging is pretty good. Packaging looks pretty cool. Shows you the picture of the alien on there. So aliens pretty good. I'm looking at the was looking at the box thinking, oh this alien <clears throat> isn't gonna be that big. You know, it's gonna be those normal things you get from China or whatever. It's just undersized that you can see right there, made in China. So I, I didn't think much of it. Uh, then I went to open it up and this is what came out so decently sized i mean the head's massive i'll set the camera down here in a second and show you uh, and my cat too wants to look um it pops onto the body to where you can manipulate the head and move it around originally i thought it wasn't that good um the light was small to my to my uh view when i was looking at it last night and it wasn't rotating like the others do but then I understood you had to get an, <clears throat> the controller out and adjust it with the controller. So once I got the controller and batteries in it, it opened up a lot of possibilities. And again, I, I need to apologize for my voice. I've got a little bit of a frog. It's been going on the last couple days. So it's been acting with me a little bit. So uh, right here, you see that little guy? He's got a little pedestal. Arms move if you want to stage him, whatever. Plugs into the back. Speaker out of the back there. Um, gives you the classic warning for a laser. Um, there's your speaker. Uh, looks like visuals. And then changing between. Excuse you. <laughs> and we're in the middle of something here. <laughs> um, gives you some options there. Turning off stars in the clouds. And then, of course, the power button. But really, <clears throat> it's the controller that opens this guy up. So let me set the camera down and kind of show you the head. It pops on relatively easy. I'm gonna set it down. Don't know if we'll see. But it's got that little knob right on there. Um, that knob fits right into there. And it's got a little bit of a pressure to get it to lock in, but it locks in pretty decent. Let me pull the camera away. It's a little rubber. I didn't felt it yet, but when I popped it off, I could hear it. So it's like a little rubber grommet that it fits into, and which gives you some room to move it around, plus also have the friction. Um, I'm hoping you're seeing this all right. The first time kind of filming with this. But you can see where the nebulas come out. Um, one thing I did notice on it, and maybe it just happens to be mine, is there are some scratches. It's plastic. But on the lens for the nebula, there are some minor scratches. I don't think it affects the way it views. But I did notice that pulling it out of the box. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, it could happen. Uh, and then right there, you can see the smaller hole. That's for the lasers. Um, comes out. They're pretty good. Uh, they actually spread out wider than the nebula, in my opinion. Um, but let me set the camera down again. I'll pop the head back on. Let me see if I can turn that a little bit. Let's do this. I'll set you on top of the box. I might edit that part out. So <laughs> I'll set you right here on top of the box. And then this guy, you just kind of put this on. Pops on. You can spin it. It doesn't go down further than that, but you can push him, his head back. So it'll send your nebula and stuff up more to the top. Um, and then, of course, the plug in in the back. And it's got a USB. Didn't come with a power pack. Typically, most everything is switching into USB plugs now anyway that you buy because uh, you got USB outlets, um, power outlets on your walls. A lot of times USB plugs are there or you run it off a computer or something like that. So uh, I'll take a break right here and I'll kind of get this thing set up with some lights off 
and we'll check it out, see how it works. Um, got the lights off now, so you can see uh, Mason's computer there is uh, lit up. Um, the, late, the little alien's right in front of you. I've got the controller, which you can't see because it's uh, only lit in this room by the hallway door. So with the camera, it looks pretty dark, but I will go ahead and uh, turn it on with the controller. Listen closely, hopefully you can hear it. I'll get my headset maybe closer. You hear it kind of gives a little alarm that it's starting up. And of the camera, the lasers are gonna shine into it. Let me get off the side there. Um, you can see the lights of the eyes. So the eyes do, excuse me, the eyes do light up. Um, there is a function, turning them off. You know, if they're annoying to your kids or something like that, if you wanna use them, you can turn them off, turn them back on. Um, and then like the head. So I'm gonna pan around and show you kind of the view on the ceiling. So you can see the nebula is turning. It's changing different colors, reds, blues, and greens. You can alternate those. And then the stars right now are in alternation. Alternating <laughs> on and off. I don't know what alternation is. Maybe I'll make that my new word. Um, but you can see that it spreads out a lot more on the stars. They cover a lot more area <clears throat> than the nebula, nebula does. Um, so, but you can angle the head back and turning it to where it gives it more of a view up into the ceiling. Um, or you can definitely angle it back down to where it covers more on the wall. Um, put the controller right in front of the camera. Uh, let's see. So you got sounds. If you want to turn that off, let's go to the nebulas. So there's just your reds. It's got a green. You got your blue. And then your <clears throat> red, a green mix, it looks like. And then a blue green. And then it looks like red blue. And then this is kind of uh, alternating between the colors. You got reds, and then it goes into the greens. Um, and then, of course, back into like the alternating of this one. So we have options here. And then right there, I the stars look good, but to me they're they cover too much. So let me see if I can. <clears throat> I think you push and hold to remove the stars. Let me see. Yeah. So right there, there's just the view of the nebulas, and the nebulas look cool and the. Ex in the dark. I'm hoping it shows up well on the camera. If not, I'll cut some of this stuff out anyway because there's no reason to uh, view it <clears throat> when it's looking like that. But the nebulas, uh, last night when I was testing out, I couldn't get the nebulas to turn. And it must have been an option here. It must have been the plus or minus, maybe. Yeah, see, you hit the minus. That's all the way to the left on the minus. And once I'm done with this, I'll put the controller out and show you. But the, um, the S minus completely stops the spinning of the nebula. So it's stationary static, stays there. And if you hit the plus, which is the right-hand side, it'll start the motion. But see, it slows it down. And if I click one more time, it goes a little faster. One more time, a little faster. And it pretty much maxes out, I think. Let's see. Right there. So I think it's four clicks. You can go to max speed and rotate through it. So if you just like to have that static fill, you can have that just like that. Or if you want more of that rolling view, you can adjust the roll through. It's pretty cool. Uh, once I figured that out, it really made me happier. At first I was like, this is garbage. I spent 40 bucks on this thing and it doesn't do what I want it to do. Um, but otherwise it's cool. I think it'd be a good little desk item and you can set it on your kid's desk and have it view if they want a night light or something. You can set it up to have it run at night. It's got a uh, option to set up the time you want it to run. And <laughs> the other option, we'll turn it the light back on so you can see it and hear it. He'll speak back to you. So he's got a little voice recorder that if you say something, he'll repeat it back to you in like a higher pitch voice. Um, kind of like those apps would do uh, back in the old iPhone days 
or the Thomas Cat or that other, I can't remember what the other guy was. It would take your recording and keep increasing it higher and higher and higher, but not bad little item. So you see kind of where it's running right there. I think we got a pretty decent view of that stuff and what it does uh, visually. Um, oh, and the brightness, yeah. So you can take the brightness down on the nebula. So we can go down, that's your lowest setting on your nebula brightness, and then your highest setting. So it's four clicks down, four clicks up. So you can really, and I think it starts at like two um, on everything, like a neutral position, and then you can click it up higher if you want to. I don't believe it saves your settings. Haven't played it with enough, enough with it to find out, but. Um, all right, so that goes good there. Shows you the eyes, the stars. We can turn the stars back on. And I believe you can also set them on to be static to where they don't pulsate. I did that last night. I just want to see now if they do that. But I believe so. Just by pushing the button. Uh, looks like they're fading now. Yeah, so. Maybe not. Maybe they fade no matter what. But I swear there's an option. But anyway, let's turn the lights back on. I want to show you one more thing on this thing. And then uh, we'll wrap this one up. Okay, back to recording. You can see I still got his lights on um, for the nebula, the stars. I can actually turn my stars off. It's laser. We don't need it on. Um, we can turn the we can turn the brightness down in the nebula. That takes some of that reflection and stuff off of it, so you can see it. You see in the eyes. But the other thing on the controller, if you can see it right there, you got your power button, typical power button, timer button, uh, brightness. Uh, plus or minus, um, and then the speed, uh, the nebula spins up or down, and then of course the colors of the nebula, whether they're mixing or whether you want just a red or a blue or a green. Um, you have the eyes, that's the eyes for, I'll hit it here, turning the eyes and on and off, and then the volume, this is the speaker to where you'll hear the guy speak, and I'll test that here in a bit. And then you got star button to turn, you push and hold, is what I've noticed to turn those on and off. And then I have not played with these yet. So I don't know if I ever will. I'm pretty sure it has something to do with five seconds rotation, 10 seconds rotation, but who knows? I, could be, it's right there by stars. If you want them to rotate every five seconds or 10 seconds. Um, I guess that's what reading the instructions would probably help, but I've never been a really strong person at doing that on some things. So anyway. Let's try the voice and see if it does what I think it's going to do. So if I turn that on, his eyes blink. So they're here to me. What's going on, Mr. Alien? So if I talk higher, it's a lot higher voice. Your kids might like it. You see the light changes on the nebula. For adults, it kind of gets annoying pretty quick. So I'll turn that off. There you go. <laughs> so there's the alien, uh, alien sun star pro projector. Let me grab a box. Set that right there on. Uh, it, and he coos at you when you shut him down. So let me turn him back on. He's got a car alarm that goes off when you turn him on, and then. Uh, a little coo when he goes off. Hopefully my um, that's may, uh, this one's by Streamlet. There's three or four. And there might be ten different options on there. This one was thirty nine ninety nine. Of course, free shipping with Prime. I uh, got it in a couple days. Um, my first impression for forty bucks, not bad. Um, originally, I thought oh, this isn't going to be that good of a product just because the um, the nebulas didn't turn, and I didn't like how wide the stars are. I think my biggest complaint is going to be is the stars don't line up well enough with the nebula. So I would think you, you want a little overlay, but I would like either the nebula to be bigger or the stars to be smaller, one or the other, just to kind of give you a better overall look of it. But um, the remote control works really good. It worked good. I didn't have to point it at the alien, and it was working fine. Um, the voice system, eh, gimmick. Uh, I like the eyes. The eyes are kind of cool. Um, I think overall, I, I'm happy with this purchase. 
I would say it'd be good for those people who want to have a nightlight or something for their kids to look at. We have different versions of these that we've always liked. My son likes, likes his, uses it every night. So on this item, I would give it pretty high marks. For $40, pretty good item. I think you'll get some enjoyment out of it. You don't feel like you're getting gypped. Um, only time will tell, longevity. But for the short term, I am extremely pleased. So that's going to finish this video. Please, if you like it, hit the like and subscribe button for those newcomers. Um, if something you want to comment, add it back into the comment section at the bottom. Uh, let me know how I'm doing. Otherwise, great to have you along, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.